With the weather warming up, a lot of folks are looking to test out their green thumbs this spring. And on Saturday, March 26th, you can get a jump start on your gardening by taking part in the Johnson City Parks and Rec Nature's Garden Seed Swap and Share. And here with a preview is Connie Deegan. Good morning, Connie. Good morning, Chris. Nice to see you again. This is a good event. I mean, it is a great event to get spring kicked off. It is a good event. Yeah. and. And people that are into planting are, they look for seed swaps. Seed swaps are a real yes. thing. They've been around for a long time. Oh, yeah. And they go on all over the place, but you all are getting ready. You've got several vendors on board. Kind of tell us, for folks that may not have been involved with a seed swap before, tell us what happens. All righty. Um, uh, it's a two-and-a-half-hour event, right. and, and our exhibitors are there, and it's a great place to get questions answered. You can get information on composting or organic gardening right. or anything. How do I plant a vegetable? You can get information on city parks, um, state parks. We have a lot of people there that represent. Um, there's going to be a gardening club. There's going to be some birding people there. There's going to be people that will speak on pollinators. Right. And pollinators, of course, are not just bees and and, and butterflies, they're yes. moths, they're gnats, they're flies, they're beetles, right. and they're important. So, so it's a great resource for people, and you can get seeds, and you can literally walk out of there with something that would have cost you $100, and you can have 10 different kinds of seeds for your vegetable garden, right. if that's your interest, or your flower garden, or what have you. And you don't have to have something to swap. If you have something to swap, a seed or a plant, you would love to, for the folks to bring them. But if they don't, just show up and learn something and pick up a few things. That's correct. Um, it's actually more of a seed swap, I'd have to say, though, than yeah. a plant swap. Right. And if you don't have, you're right, if you don't yeah. have seeds, that's okay. We yeah. will have a lot of different seeds there. They'll all be labeled. You'll know what they are. There'll be instructions. But not all of them will be. Some people right. will simply bring things in an envelope and, and, and hopefully labeled. Like, right. these are runner beans. You'll be like, man, I've always wanted to try to grow those. Yes. This is the year. There you go. You know? I, so. I, I know that, you know, growing up, my, my mom and dad used to, to keep seeds around when we planted gardens and everything, and sometimes things would get mislabeled, or sometimes uh. things wouldn't get labeled at all, and you'd plant them just to see what came up. That's right. And that's, that's fun, too. But, you know, you and I were talking before we started the interview about native plants, and you yes. want to talk about that because that's vitally important to everything that goes on around here. In that's correct. You, yeah. you basically pegged it. Mm -hmm. Um, we do put emphasis on native plants because plants and animals evolve together and, and they get what they need from each other. Right. So if you have a choice of planting something that's from Northeast Tennessee, it's going to provide, um, let's consider something that produces a berry. That berry is going to have the right amount right. of carbohydrates, digestibility, even protein for the birds. Right. If you fall in love and insist on planting something from an Asian country or European or someplace that's not from here, right. the bird might eat it, but it might only get 50% of what it needs. Right. So we have got to plant natives because our animals anticipate food sources from native plants. What is one native plant that you can mention right now that folks might need to plant some more of? Oh, there's tons of them, <laughs> tons of them. Um, our native dogwood, not the Coosa dogwood. Okay. Um, Spice bush, um, serviceberry, oh. um, huckleberries. Yes. A, a lot of our native, like our our flowers, the flowers that you right. see growing along the road, common milkweed, Joe pie, asters, yes. all kinds of stuff. Those are the guys we need, and those right. are the guys that we want to plant. All right. Thank yeah. you for stopping by. I wish we could sit here and talk about this some more. It's, it's very interesting, but I wanted to give everybody the information. It's coming up Saturday, March 26th. It's Nature's Garden Seed Swap and Share. It's happening right over at Meredith Pavilion at Wien Derrick Park. It's free. That's the no, no charge. Come on out. If you want more information, give that number right there at the bottom of the screen and call today.